Hey guys, it's Link Savage. I'm back. Uh, we're gonna try to give this a shot. I need, to, I definitely need to get a better camera setup. But um, if you guys saw the first few videos, you guys know that I wanted to go over uh, the belt, the guns, and the holsters. So I'm gonna do them each as an individual video, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, I definitely need a better, <laughs> better camera to do this with. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, anyone who is new or is unaware, I'm a new gun owner. And the reality of the fact for these videos is that I wanted them to basically chronicle my journey as a gun owner. Going from knowing nothing to knowing something. Uh, talking about the products that I purchased. Talking about any gun ranges I might go to. And also generally talking about whatever might be happening in the world of guns. Uh, if you don't know, I am a gay man. And my whole thing is that armed gays don't get bashed. So, a lot of my videos are basically going to be kind of catered toward that community. To try and get more of us aware of gun ownership and uh, personal responsibility. Because the reality is... Uh, you are your first line of defense. Not the police, uh, not the FBI, not the government, not your mama, not your daddy. You. You're the first line of defense for yourself. So what are we going to talk about uh, today? So let's go on over the gun belt. I have done what I would consider a, uh, a pretty good wearing test of this belt. I've been wearing it for the past three weeks. Um... And so far, it's been great. Now, what belt am I talking about? I am talking about the Trackline belt. Yes, everyone has seen it. Now, this belt is fantastic. Um, it has its issues, as everything else in the world has its issues. But as for being a sturdy and a good gun belt, as we all know, you want a gun, you want a belt that's going to be sturdy. That's not going to buckle under the pressure of having a gun attached to it. Uh, but you also kind of want something that is not going to be obvious as a gun belt, especially if you wear the belt out. You know, if you wear it out to dinner, if you wear it out to work, you wear it out to school, you wear it out you know, walking the dog. You don't want to have people staring at your belt going, that's a gun belt. That man is strapped. <laughs> so I went, you know, looking for a lot of different belts, and there's a ton of them. Um, what I found was that a lot of them didn't fit my jeans. A lot of them didn't fit my shorts. This is the size of a regular belt. The cool part about this belt, as you can see, it's nice, it's thick, it's leather. Oh, amazing, right? It fits up to size 52 when you get just, you know, when you just buy the belt. It fits up to size 52. Uh, the funny part is that now that I am self-employed and I'm no longer stressed out, I'm losing weight. So this is a consideration, uh, especially what we're going to talk about with this belt and why I love this belt. Uh, so the belt itself is a folded piece of leather, and inside it has a core made of plastic. So it doesn't actually crush. The best part about this belt, and it's the best thing uh, I, I think I've ever seen in a belt, is the track. Uh, let's see if we get a good shot of that. You see these? There are no holes in this belt. This belt basically clicks, you know, click, 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 like that. You can have a very accurate size to your liking. You're not going to be in between holes. Uh, you're not going to be out of holes. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I've never had a belt fit so well. This belt is also so strong that even under my gut, <laughs> it did not crush. But now, let's get to the bad part about this belt. Uh, the good and bad about it is that its core is made of a really strong plastic. Well, the downside about that really strong plastic is as you wear it, uh, there you go, you can see where I have put my holster. It kind of creates an indentation. And plastic being plastic, it keeps that indentation. Now, once it's bent, it's bent. So if you're going to do this or use this belt, be very, very conscious of not bending the belt. I mean, it's flexible. It is a flexible belt. It's as flexible 
as any other belt. See? Very flexible. But you don't want to give it a crease, a hard crease. So for those of you who wear uh, outside the waistband and you have something made of Kydex, like this holster, which we will talk about later. Uh, this is the holster for my VP9. It has these very hard loops that go through the belt. Now, it fits just fine in the belt, um, but you know when you tighten that belt to be comfortable for you, well, it will go on ahead and it will make a dent in the plastic. Is that a deal breaker? I don't think so. To me, it's not a deal breaker, especially given that the belt actually looks really good. I love the design of the belt. I love the belt buckle. It uses this, you know, little latch here to release the belt. So what you have going on is, you know, belt in, and then you can hear it click, I hope. See? Just like that. And it stays. It, it's very comfortable. I was not uncomfortable once as a big fella. Uh, I wasn't uncomfortable once wearing this belt. Um, it's, it looks great, and nobody is the wiser that I am sporting a gun belt. To them, it just looks like a regular old belt. And then, like I said, you know, you have your little latch here. And in order to take the belt off, you hit the latch, pull the belt out. That's it. Very simple, very easy. Uh, this belt was not crazy expensive. I'm trying to remember how much it costs. I wish I had the damn uh, receipt with me, but I don't. It's not an expensive belt. It is not going to be a belt that breaks your bank. It's not going to be a belt that... Uh, it's definitely not a cop belt. Don't think you're going to put everything and its predecessor onto this belt. But what I can tell you is that I have been able to comfortably inside the waistband carry my shield and outside the waistband carry my BP9 at the same time on this belt, um, along with a knife. So, you know, I had my knife clipped onto this belt. I had two guns clipped onto this belt. Uh, my pants never fell. Uh, the belt itself never crushed. The only issue I have with the belt is what makes the belt amazing, and that's the plastic core. So I would definitely say to go on ahead and check out the Trackline belt. It is absolutely amazing. I'll put a link down in the description below. As a first time gun owner uh, and having looked at different belts, tried on a couple of different belts, uh, couldn't try on a couple of different belts because it just wouldn't fit through the loops of my pants. And quite frankly, if, if the belt doesn't go through your pants, it's worthless. So as a first time gun owner, First time buying my very first gun belt. I've worn it for three weeks. It's held up very nicely, uh, even in days when I'm bloated, just to you know, unclick a click or two, you know, and it, it works out great. So, yeah, if you guys get a chance, check this belt out, buy this belt. It is epic. It is everything. And, um, yeah, pretty soon we will also have a video, which is going to be, as you can see, my gun needs to be cleaned. It needs to be cleaned because it's being used. And this gun is cleared. As you see, there's nothing there. And no bullet. No anything. So... Uh, as you can see, my gun does need to be cleaned uh, because it has been used. And we're going to talk about my experience using this gun. And uh, the same with my shield. And that's it. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed the video, just hit like, hit subscribe, show me some love. Hopefully I'll see and feel the love and I'll go on ahead and buy a better camera and get a better setup for this. Until then... Y'all stay tuned for the other reviews, and hopefully this will work out for everybody. Uh, you know, it's a great belt, so I would say bye.